Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2008 Mini Cooper Clubman S. If you're not familiar with uh, the Coopers, uh, the S is a de designation of uh, what was originally a supercharger in uh, what is now known uh, as a turbocharged car uh, dating back to uh, 2007. You can tell that by the air intake on the, uh, the hood there. That tells you that this is an S model. And uh, this is uh, hot chocolate paint. You'll notice uh, inside the uh, headlight lens here, you've got a little bubble, and that's indicative of a xenon light, which is an upgrade. Uh, there's a lot of equipment on this car. It's currently covered under the mini factory warranty, which is good until uh, August of 2012, this year. So it's got a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty on it, uh, covered through uh, any mini factory authorized dealers. This also has convenience package on it. And if you're not familiar with that, uh, it's indicated by a little black button here. And that what that means is you can push that to unlock or lock your car. And it also, without taking your key out of your pocket, also means you can start your car without um, putting the key in the ignition. So Mini calls that convenience package. Uh, Mercedes calls it keyless go. Uh, BMW calls it comfort access. Everybody's got their own little name on it. So this is a single owner car. Uh, it shows an accident on the uh, auto check report, however, I, I'm not sure it was an accident. Uh, the reason that we weren't concerned about it is it talks about the bumper, the damage being um, localized to just the center of the rear bumper. And uh, because it's uh, so specific, um, it wasn't a concern of ours. If there would have been any kind of significant damage, it would have said that. And uh, our guess is they probably backed into something or somebody just backed into them and um, it was claimed on the insurance. Anyways, a long explanation for that. Uh, so, as you can see, very clean. Uh, the interior, the trim, all this stuff, very, very clean. Well taken care of. So this is a convenience package, sport package, navigation car. You don't see navigations on minis. We really like them. Uh, due to the fact, not necessarily really the navigation as much as the um, the way it changes the interior configuration of the car and uh, how you access uh, your electronics. It's it makes a big difference on um, how you uh, how you read stuff and how it uh, lays out. The other thing we like about this car uh, is the wood trim. This is what they call English oak interior. That's also an upgrade. So a lot of equipment on this car and. Uh, as I mentioned, if you haven't seen it, this is what they call uh, lounge leather, and this is hot chocolate lounge leather, uh, and that's uh, obvious by the piping and then the pleats here. So it's a different seat cushion. It's a sport seat, a little more comfortable, a little higher grade leather, and uh, cosmetically just a beautiful touch. So hot chocolate on hot chocolate. Then get in and walk you through some of the equipment here real quick. So. We've got one master key, and this is what I was talking about with the uh, the convenience package. So you could actually just leave your key here on your leg. You hit the start button, and that'll start your car up. So a very nice option uh, for convenience sake. So center armrest here, that's an option, believe it or not, on Mini. Uh, and if you're familiar with Minis, you'll recognize this little cluster of uh, controls. And that uh, means that you've got navigation in your car. This is your toggle switch, your home menu. This is how you're paged through your stuff, and um, a very, very intuitive navigation system, probably one of our favorites. So Steptronic transmission, sport button, and DSC, those are uh, that's dynamic stability control. You've got power windows, power locks, driving lights. You've got uh, auto climate control here. You've got a uh, CD player, and uh, this is your navigation. So what I was mentioning earlier, the reason we like navigation is partly because of the navigation. It's a very good system. Uh, it's intuitive. Uh, if you looked at um, them uh, in general, it's just an easy um, it's an easy map to read. You can scroll in and out. Very, very simple. And you do that just by uh, spinning your toggle switch here, and uh, that will focus you in and out. But what we like as much about this is if you take it in, all of your, uh, your electronics... So your Bluetooth now, it operates through this display panel. And if you didn't have this, it's a much more limited system. And then if you go back uh, down to entertainment, the same is true. So you've got uh, your AM, FM stereos, uh, a much more comprehensive display uh, of what's available uh, in comparison to just like a, a regular LED or a, um, a small printout 
or layout uh, on the dash, which is typically what you'd see. The other nice thing about these is that um, you can go into setup and it gives you all your computer information and you can go in to your info sources which will tell you your traffic travel, your, all your service history and your schedule maintenance. Uh, you can go into settings uh, and change all this stuff language. I mean it's just a very very user friendly system and then you just hit the map here and you're back to the navigation. So a uh, cool system. So you've got a multi-function steering wheel uh, over here audio functions. You've got voice command and your ability to uh, operate your Bluetooth. You've got paddle shifters and cruise over here. You've got an onboard computer which allows you to scroll through uh, and track your miles per gallon, how far you've got to go in a tank of gas. Up here you've got home link. So these are programmable buttons for uh, security gates or garage door openers and then of course panoramic roof. So a very very clean car loaded with options. Um, as I mentioned, single owner, uh, still covered under the uh, mini factory warranty until August of this year, and um, in really, really good shape. It's all current on its service. It needs nothing. So, Anyways, if you'd like additional information or have questions about this particular car, please feel free to contact us, and we can be reached at 503-227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.